welcome back to our discussion on accounting. This is Professor Ramana. We will try to discuss, answer this question. Can a company destroy the shareholders wealth despite having a positive ROE that is return on equity? Before that I would like to say if possible please use a headphone because the audio is very poor quality. Let me take an example to explain that. I've taken an example, a hypothetical one, the balance sheet for two years given, income statement for the latest year is given, the company is making a profit after tax, so therefore the return on equity of this company is PAT divided by the equity of the company, the equity of the company is 600,000, so the company is having a return on equity of 18 percent but as the question was that this company is having 18 percent return on equity but is it possible that it may not be earning or creating wealth for the shareholder for that we have a concept called economic economic value added the economic value added as a concept says the economic value added as a concept says that if whether a company is earning profit or not it should earn a return over and above the um, capital charge so therefore EVA is called net operating profit minus capital charge and we are going to see what are these two terms net operating profit and capital charge the net operating profit is not same as the PAT. So net operating net uh, net operating profit after tax or no PAT is calculated as follows. So PAT uh, and add back interest, okay? But since I'm adding back interest, I'm not going to get the benefits of taxation. So therefore, I'm going to deduct the tax benefits or the tax shield of interest. So the no PAT is a PAT plus interest minus the tax shield. In other words, no PAT is a profit of, okay, profit of an unlevered firm. Okay, is a profit of an unlevered firm. Let me increase the size of this, uh, the font size. Okay, so the no PAT is a profit of an unlevered firm. So that means assuming that the firm has no debt, so what is the profit? So the profit of this firm in this case is a hundred and ten thousand six hundred but that is after tax and after interest but if you remove the effect of leverage the profit will be hundred and twenty six thousand. So no bad is a profit of an unlevered firm. I can also calculate in this manner. I say that let us take the PAT and then normally you see this way interest into into 1 minus okay into 1 minus tax rate and we have taken the tax rate as 30 percent okay we have taken the tax rate as 30 percent so therefore the no PAT is also calculated as PAT plus interest into 1 minus T. Okay? Or in other words, if somebody would like to calculate from PBIT, of course they can do that. From that they have to take PBIT and multiply that with the tax rate. So therefore, the no PAT is equal to 126. In other words, no PAT is equal to, I can calculate no PAT as PAT plus, okay, PAT plus interest into 1 minus T or I can calculate no PAT is equal to PBIT into 1 minus T. But for the time being, I'm assuming there are no accounting adjustments so we are we are we are assuming that 
the there are no adjustments required to calculate the no pat so no pat i can calculate from pat or i can calculate from pbit sometime i can also calculate from the sales which we'll see later so the no pat of this firm assuming that there is no leverage is 126000 and where are we taking the leverage the leverage is taken under the capital charge so what is the equity of the firm the equity of the firm is 600000 the debt of the firm is 220000 the cost of equity is given here okay cost of equity is given here and the cost of the debt is 10% if you see here 10% but it's a k so therefore 10% into 1 minus t okay into 1 minus t because I'm calculating and the t here is 30% okay t is the tax rate so if t is 30% okay so this is the capital charge that means to use this much of amount of money I'm, I'm expected to at least earn 135,000 that is why it's called capital charge and as we have defined no pad no pad is equal to sorry EVA is equal to excess of no pad over the capital charge if you see here so the capital charge is 135,000 no pad is 126,000 so EVA in this question or in this example is negative 9,500 that means the company is having positive ROE but a negative EVA what may be the reasons for that how to manage this negative EVA how to convert the negative EVA into positive these are the managerial issues but you can ask a question here yeah, whether EVA a gap number the answer is no EVA is a non gap number that means you are not required to show EVA as per the statutory requirement statutorily you are not required to show that but many companies reflect or show the EVA in their annual report for example okay for example uh, let me show you if there is any annual report sitting on my balance sheet yes so it's an annual report of Hindustan Unilever Limited and Hindustan Unilever Limited has been consistently showing EVA on their annual report though it is not a gap number so they are calculating EVA by taking cost of the capital employed which is debt and equity the post debt tax which is 8.4 in 2000 and has come down to 3.9 and the cost of equity is around 12.5 percent and EVA has been consistently positive that means HUL has been has been creating the wealth for the shareholder so the EVA of of uh, HUL is like this which is shown in their annual report so if I go back to the question with which we started the answer is yes uh, a company can destroy the wealth of the shareholder if it is not meeting or in other word if uh, the net operating profit of the company is less than the capital charge then in that case EVA will be negative thank you very much